this film, we will show you how to replace the air suspension module on the rear axle of a Mercedes W221. It is very important you follow the instructions exactly as shown. Remove the ignition key when working on the air suspension module. You need tools and equipment provided by the vehicle manufacturer to replace the air suspension module. First, remove the suspension strut from its packaging and read the assembly instructions. Check the module against the installation instructions. Measure the vehicle's height before dismantling the air suspension module. Measure from the center of the wheel hub to the lower edge of the wing. Note down the result. Next, jack up the vehicle and remove the wheels. Check the suspension thoroughly for any damage. Use diagnostic equipment to bleed the compressed air from the system. If the vehicle does not have an advanced sound system, simply remove the loudspeaker cover on the rear shelf. If the vehicle does have an advanced sound system, the necessary dismantling works are more extensive. The entire rear shelf, including C-pillar trim, must be removed. The catches must be released to remove the head restraints. Finally, dismantle the C-pillar trim. Be particularly careful when working on airbags. Remove the plastic clips and then remove the rear shelf. Wear suitable protective eyewear when working on compressed air systems. Caution, residual air may escape when dismantling the compressed airline. Secure the line with a blind plug. Loosen and remove the three nuts on the suspension strut tower. These nuts cannot be used again. Loosen and remove the interior trim on the wheel housing. Carefully disconnect the electrical plug-in connections on the suspension strut from the vehicle. Prop up the rear muffler before dismounting the suspension strut from the lower control arm. 
loosen the exhaust bracket and lower the rear muffler. Then dismantle the lower interior control arm. Loosen and remove the lower bolt securing the suspension strut to the control arm. Remove the suspension strut from below. Be careful with the brake line. Do not remove the safety label until you are ready to install the part. Insert the new suspension strut in the vehicle. Be careful with the brake line. Position the new self-locking nuts on the strut tower and tighten to the manufacturer's specifications. Mount the suspension strut on the lower control arm. Caution, merely attach the nut by hand. Do not tighten it. A new self-locking screw must be used. Mount the interior control arm. Caution, do not tighten the screw. Route the electrical wiring for the suspension strut properly. Connect the electrical plugs on the suspension strut to the vehicle and make sure the retaining clips are positioned correctly. Insert the interior wing section and fasten with the same clips. Make sure they are positioned correctly. Take the new O-ring out of its packaging, discard the white cap, and mount the O-ring on the vehicle's compressed air connection. Handle the new O-ring with care to avoid damaging it. Position the compressed air line on the air suspension module and bolt tight using the tool specified by the manufacturer. Once installed, reassemble the wheel. Comply with the tightening torque specified by the manufacturer. Lower the vehicle from the lifting equipment until the wheels touch the ground. Never lower the vehicle from the lifting equipment while the air suspension is depressurized. Lower the lifting equipment further until the vehicle stands at a measured height of 400 millimeters. Start the vehicle and wait for at least two minutes. Then activate the elevation function in the onboard system. The cockpit displays the message vehicle is being elevated. Once elevation is complete, lower the vehicle entirely from the lifting equipment. Check the compressed air connection for seal integrity. Reinstall all parts in the vehicle interior. Take care with the airbags when installing the C-pillar trim. Using a suitable torque wrench, tighten all threaded connections loosened during the replacement process to the manufacturer's specifications.
always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.